Jackie presents the image of a shiny, confident America and of a happy, successful marriage. She understood that appearance is everything. And if one thinks about the problems that she did have in her young life as the child of a broken family, and that there were problems obviously in her marriage that did not come out to the American public until after her husband's death, you can understand why public image was especially important. Within weeks of becoming First Lady, Jackie begins her legacy project. She applies her sophisticated sense of style to the White House itself. The White House at that time had become a little bit shabby. And there was almost nothing from the early days of the Republic. It just seemed to me such a shame when we came here to find hardly anything of the past in the house. Hardly anything before 1902. What Jacqueline Kennedy sought was to bring in historic furnishings and art that would convey a sense of continuum, to then give credence and perhaps validity to her husband, who had won by the smallest margin. This little chest was left by President Van Buren to his grandson. It wasn't just decorating. It was really taking that um, political ambition and conveying it via furniture. Nearly 60 million Americans watched Jackie's televised tour of the White House on Valentine's Day, 1962. It's even screened behind the Iron Curtain. Isn't that the famous Gilbert Stuart portrait of George Washington? That's right. That's the oldest thing in the White House. It's a wonderful kind of American propaganda. She went through that house showing all of these treasures and talking about the nation that we had built. It is a, a very quiet way of showing national pride and uh, sending that pride out to the world.